New tonight at 10, a man using Chance the Rapper's name to con people out of tens of thousands of dollars is finally under arrest. It took almost a year, but CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker tells us how the man was caught thanks to the quick thinking of one of his victims. We met up with the Cole sisters at the scene of the crime. Lulu and Epi met a man at this Southside bank. He called himself Jeffrey Washington. It just seems like a year of of a nightmare. I am grateful that he was apprehended. The nightmare began in January 2022. The man convinced Lulu he had paid her cell phone bill and mortgage. She described her excitement to us last year. I felt ecstatic. It sounded convincing because of the confirmations she received. She believed the money the man was giving away came from Chance the Rapper in CETA, the Community and Economic Development Association of Cook County, a charitable organization helping families in need. Sister E.B. joined in, believing the mystery man paid off several of her bills, too. The sisters were so grateful they gave the man nearly $70,000 in cash to pay his charitable ways forward. Then the reversals came in. I got an email from my bank that said we couldn't process your payment. Tuesday, in part thanks to this photo snapped by Lulu the day she first met the man, Chicago police arrested DeMarco Franklin on charges of theft by deception, wire fraud, and false impersonation of a charity. The sisters are angry with the banks for confirming money transfers that turned out to be false. I definitely love to see banks improve and increase their protections of their consumers. Cook County State's attorney's records describe Franklin as a 35 year old with multiple felony convictions for running the same schemes. Police say there could be more victims out there. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Theta says Franklin has never worked for their organization.